Hey everyone, I'm Rick Beato. On today's Everything Music, we're going to talk about how to reharmonize Giant Steps. That's what we just heard, actually. It's a reharmonization I did of it. Really, the beginning of it started out with the standard changes, and then the second time through the melody, I did the reharmonization. So what I want to talk about first is I want to talk about how to harmonize the melody in a standard way, and then how to harmonize it with this reharmonization using bitonal chords. And we're gonna do it on the piano and the guitar. So let's get started. Okay, here's a standard harmonization of the chord melody of Giant Steps on the guitar. I start up here at the 13th fret and I'm barring. And I put, I make it like a B flat six nine chord, but it's just these notes. Then I move down to the 10th fret and I play. I'm barring these and I play in a D13, so. 10, 11, 12, 10, and then stack G major seven chord there. Let me do it from this angle so you can see those first chords again. And then do a B flat 13. You see that there? I'm not playing the high E string, I'm just playing the I'm doing an E flat major seven, but I'm playing the B flat, the high string. So I'm barring all the strings and I'm playing it. So here we go, first phrase. B major seven, D seven, G major seven, B flat 13, E flat major seven, and then, so I've got an A minor nine. I'm just playing the top four strings, the D, D string through the E. I'm playing a D9 there. So that's like going. And then up to the ninth fret here. Same B flat 13, E flat major seven, F sharp 13, and then, then B major seven. And I've got the high, the high string there. I'm barring all those. And then F sharp minor nine to using D minor seven flat five as a sub for B flat nine. So it's like to E flat major seven and then same as we just had the A minor seven to D nine, A minor nine to D nine to G six nine and then so C sharp minor nine, F sharp uh, 13 and then B six nine and, and that's F minor nine. I'm barring and, and then I'm going to here B flat nine and then and up there at the uh, 17th fret and then that's what I usually like to do there. I do C sharp minor seven, which is C sharp minor 11, so it's, check it out from here. And then I go as an altered chord, so I'm doing 12, 12, 13, uh, 14. So, then it starts over. Now, you can also put in some alterations in here. Sometimes I go, or, but using A minor nine to, to F sharp diminished, right there. Then you go C sharp minor nine, and you get the flat nine on this one. So eight, nine, eight, eleven.
Okay, next we're gonna do the reharmonization. This is using some bitonal chords, triads over bass notes. You're gonna have to finger pick it because these bitonal chords you can't strum with, okay? So here we go. Let me get the thing adjusted. You'll see this hand here. So I'm gonna play the first chord is my B major seven over F sharp. So I've got the ninth fret of the A string and then on the bottom three, top three strings, I've got 10, 11, 14. Next chord is D major over F. So you get the D major triad right there with the F of the bass. Then G major over E flat. See the G major triad right there with E flat in the bass, sixth fret there. And then I'm playing a C major chord over D flat. Then I'm playing an E flat major over B. So let me do this again. So that's first chord, second chord. Then my little 2 5, which would normally be A minor 9 to D7, I go F Lydian over C. So I get C and then third fret and then fifth, sixth, seventh. So I go and then. And that's D major over B flat. So you get D major triad here. And then the second progression starts, which is G major over D. So we're here. And then B flat major over D flat. And then E flat major over B. So you get E flat triad over B. Then a flat major, so you got six five four over A. B major over G, and then I'm gonna go D flat Lydian over A flat, which is this, and then B flat over F sharp. That's a tricky chord there. So, so I've got this. I'm playing. First fret, first fret, second, third, with an A flat in the bass. And then I'm going to this. You just gotta practice it. Then the rest of the chord melody, you can do the same. Then into your soloing. Okay, I'm gonna show you a basic harmonization here of the tune. Um, these are more standard changes that I'm gonna play. I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna keep looking over. I've got some of my cheat sheets right here for my reharmonization, so check it out. Here's a basic B major seven voicing, and then to D seven, and then uh, G major seven, and then uh, B flat seven, and then E flat major seven. And then we're gonna do two five and G, A minus seven, D seven, and then G major seven, and then B flat seven, E flat major seven, F sharp seven, B major seven. And then we're gonna do two five one in E flat. F minor seven, B flat seven, E flat major seven, A minor seven, D seven, G major seven, and then C sharp minor seven, F sharp seven with a sus, and then B major seven, F minor seven, F minor seven, B flat th seven, E flat major seven, and then quick two five. Now we go into the reharm. Okay, now we're gonna do the reharmonization. I got my cheat sheet here. I'm gonna be looking over to my side here, but uh, the first chord is uh, B major with an F sharp in the bass, so a second inversion chord. So the second chord is D major over F. Then I go to G major over E flat, which is E flat leading augmented, then 
C over D flat. And then E flat major over B. Then I do a 2 5, F Lydian over C, to D major over B flat. It's B flat Lydian augmented. Then G major over D, B flat major over D flat, E flat major over B, A flat over A, and then G Lydian augmented, B over G. The 2 5 is D flat Lydian over A flat to B flat major over G flat. And then the rest of the changes go back to the original version uh, where it goes to the 2 5 and E flat, 2 5 and G, 2 5 and B, 2 5 and E flat, and then the quick 2 5 in B major. There's a lot of concepts that I've put into this video, and it's going to take repeated listenings to understand. A lot of these same concepts can be applied to film scoring. It's not just about improvisation or reharmonization. So refer back to it. Keep going back over it and looking at both parts, the guitar parts. If you're a guitar player, watch the piano part and try and learn these chords on the piano. It's really important. Also, these concepts are in my book, the Beato book. If you're interested, you can find it on my website at www.rickbeato.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. It really helps out a lot. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Rick Beato.